What is the worst thing that somebody can say to you? Think about it for a moment. Now, you're all probably thinking of different things. What have all these different things got in common? Words. They all contain words. Now, words are the basic structure of our language. Of course, they enable us to understand and relate to each other and other people. But sometimes the smallest and the simplest of words can often have the greatest impact. Take the word no, for example. Simple word, two letters, N-O. We use it every day. It's perhaps one of the simplest words in our entire language, but it's also one of the most powerful. Not many people know this, but that one word changed history. It's 1962, the mix of the Cold War, the Cuban Missile Crisis, with Soviet battleships and submarines confronting the American fleet. Now, the captain of a lone Soviet submarine thinks the war's already begun and wants to issue the order to fire his nuclear missiles onto the American fleet, which would start World War III. But in order to fire the missiles, he needs the consent of two others. One agrees, so he just needs one more yes. But the last person, a certain Vasily Arkhipov, says no. He then convinces the others to resurface to await orders from Moscow, which they do. But that one word, no, arguably saves the world from nuclear warfare. But you see, words don't always have such a positive outcome. A while ago, my friend and I fell out. And he said to me, you don't deserve my friendship. Those five words, five simple words, devastated me. Who is being mean to somebody? But then who is actually considered the effect that your words have on the person that you say them to? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me. <laughs> well, that's a lie, because what my friend said really did hurt me. But I thought about it, and I realized that we were both at fault. At times, I said things which were equally as unkind, things which I didn't consider the effect they would have on my friend. I realized again that another word needs to be said. Now, maybe this word didn't have as great an impact on the world as the word no had done, but to me it was just as important. And that word was sorry. And that's what I said to my friend. Sorry. Thanks to the power of that little word, we began talking. Who would have thought that such a small word could have such a big impact? Words matter.